Hello there, for some unknown reason, I made this enlightening piece of media. I think it's the most comfy way to progress till mid-game, and I'm gonna prove it. So join my handless self into progressing to mid-game. Uh, I will sprinkle in some EU progression, who wants to hear about seasons all the time. Also because I do some dumb shit sometimes, and it would be a shame not to share it. You can figure out which region he is currently played on by the two letters in the upper left corner. I honestly did not want to record any questing until I did Medaya. However, I must add that after doing so many quests in BDO, the Koreans have finally managed to make me curious about the said quest lines. And from my experience with this game, this means I have to lobotomize myself with so much caffeine that I will be numb to the disappointment when actually trying to read it. Let's kick it off. Day 1 Class choice. I was conflicted. See, playing on NA means my ping is going to be equivalent to a steaming pile of crap. So I made an educated decision to induce myself with a stroke or two by picking Nova, which also happens to be a nun. This will enable me to perform a light-hearted exorcism on a random, unsuspecting wildlife. <laughs> this nun is also known as the fastest and most profitable class in the game, assuming you don't lag enough to be rubber banded back and that you know how to play the game. Anyway, so I did all the main quest lines and finished Medaya, then hit 56 on sausages up north of Altinova. Made the correct and only decision to go Awakening Nova. Before continuing the questing, I needed a bit more time field stones. So I went to the Varagon's Nest. Witnessing my own damage, I quickly, 20 minutes later, realized something was wrong. Video veteran, by the way. Yeah, these apparently existed. Uh, so I shamefully course corrected and went to cadres to get more. This is the courtesy of the season pass, requesting one enchanted dwelling at Pry, obtaining this amazing best in slot item. I finally went to do the Valencia main questline. A long time later of spamming R, like a rabbit infested raccoon, I eventually wound up at Gahaz. Now, these sand sniffing bandits are nothing special, and they are pretty mediocre. If you don't have a wood scroll and agris running, what makes them special is the season, because these can spawn, which will just throw time field stones at you. They drop them like candy. This unfortunate slaughter never ends. Basically this lasted for 5 minutes, I should have just ran away to be honest. The only upside is that at least it looks cool. I finish both the Valencia quest lines, landing me at level 58 and enabling me to get my last pet. This means that now I can commit war crimes more efficiently because my pet will pick up any valuables left on the corpses of whatever I'm killing. That's right. I'm not doing the looting, they are. Day 2. Yeah, it is at this point I went to Kama Sylvia to engage with the enchanting mechanics of this game. For the sake of progression, my twelve armors and weapons should ideally hit pen. This crippling gambling addiction segment has been brought to you by Fuga. He has sponsored all my needs. With fat snacks and shiny murder scrolls, he will also sponsor you, provided you got the materials he wants. Because it's the old season summer pass, I needed to do a season weekly. While also needing to do the jet enough free pen accessory daily. That's right, chores, but no horse. It's okay. I'm used to being disappointed. It was a bit stunlocked here, so I had to end my adventures early. You can only do so many quest lines in a row. Day 3. Doing this tedious shot for my daily quota of crack powder is going to be a recurring thing. I started the Camasilvia quest line and kept doing it. I hit a wall. Why do I need energy for this crap? Also, does anyone even play on NA? 
Where are your large energy potions, man? So I unwisely spent my loyalties. If I was to wait for energy to region, I might as well start reading a book, which would surely be more engaging and entertaining than this questline. I wish I was joking. After these riddles, I got me hands on the light of Camasilia, fought a boss, did the trial. Finally, done with this log. Honestly, if the quest line didn't take so much time, I wouldn't mind actually reading it. Why not, right? But if it takes 4 hours just to skip through a quest line, who in their right mind is going to read that? Yeah, now I'm kind of semi-free from the quest lines. For a while, if we exclude the mandatory Magnus and the Odilita quest lines, which I will inevitably end up doing later. Thanks, PA. For now though, I am free, and that freedom means that my peace-loving nun can educate people on Jesus. Will they find out about Jesus by her preaching to them? No. No, they will not. She will make them meet Jesus in person. Me and my friend, the Black Spirit, are going to be doing lines of mushroom spores until I hit level 61 here. Also, this spot really sucks. To every new player that I told in my guide to come here, I truly understand that putting a fork in the electric socket is more engaging, but this game is a marathon. So if I can run through this shit for the second time, so can anyone. Probably. Also, Awakening now I will feel incomplete until I hit level 60, which sucks by the way. Day 4. Speaking of doing dumb sh Let's address the classes and the sizes of their effect. You sometimes may commit one of the biggest MMO wonders ever. Standing in a red circle, at this point of gear progression, the game requires you to at least know how to stay alive while grinding. So, seeing as how Mango has the biggest and most glaring red effect, made me naturally decide to tag a new class and go directly to Gaifen. Surely, nothing wrong happened here. What's the class? It's Sorceress. This ended up being a great experience for the first 6 minutes until I realized that I'm made out of paper. We lost him. To top it all off, I realized my loot scrolls aren't turned on and that I likely need knockback resistance. So I retired my sork to orcs until I learned how to press buttons like a functional human being. My direction here is just working on getting my pen bags to Kafra level 10 while also grinding for cups. Did you know that the ice fishing event is kinda stacked? Did it on both servers by the way. The serene ice spring fishing event will give you a mate and cronstones should still be up by the time this video comes out, I think. Back to Nova. One might say that her crusade is finally done, signified by her being level 60. But that's not all, she needs to be 61, so she has to drink more mushroom soup to acquire the protein required for the next reward. Yeah, just hours of grinding in Poggy's forest so I can finally acquire myself a Tet Bald Star. She has now finally done the tutorial called Season and can use quote unquote actual gear, uh, which is pen capotions and newly acquired weapons. Sadly, there is more pain to be had here. It's that some capotions are missing, which means I will have to do the season one more time. Day 5. Right. Luckily this is gonna be on the new season pass with a sped up quest line, which means I can just breeze through it. I elect to use a dark knight because I really like purple or black effects on my classes. Uh, they happen to be easier to see unless you are in certain sp so, the DK joins the Black Spirit Violence Distribution Squad, this time sponsored by Fugger, instead of just being goaded by Black Spirit. Not much to say, accept the Fugger quest, complete the season pass, level up to 56, do Awakening and Succession, enchant the Tuvala to Tet, go to Poggies to drink poisonous mushroom soup while hoping to acquire more tennis elements, do my daily 
Crack Powder Quest and since it's a new season character that means another season weekly quest. In the meantime I went ahead and got another band questline out of the way. Not really a questline considering it's three quests but hey might as well. Back to Dark Knight to hit that level 60 and spend 10 minutes sorting the reward. Also a tip here which is why I was talking about this shit. If you have leftover time filled stones, exchange them for wood scrolls. I didn't do that because I forgot. You could say that me griefing myself seems to be a recurring theme. You would be entirely right. So I needed DK to do the season because I will acquire a Pentuala earring, which will also open the possibility of using another season ticket. Day 6. Season. Just kidding, not this time. I will spare you from listening about the season. Because all he did was make a scholar, got her to level 10, and obtained the pen capocha ring. Which means, now I'm short one pen capocha ring, which I can obtain by hitting level 62. So, uh, back to showing these yellow butt plugs into my gear on EU, while frantically trying to hit Kafra level 10 on my glove. Yeah, I got 3 hours to achieve my goal before the servers pull the plug on me. I'm try hardening orcs for immediate raw silver gain, which I can use to fund my Kafra stone addiction. I did exactly 2 hours and for a second there I thought I'd have to sell my treasured deep sea elixirs. Now here's the fun part, I don't know whether I did the down quest line or not. So I go grab the flame from the marketplace warehouse and start sprinting towards the Serendia well where I gaze on the new UI for fast traveling. For the first time, this actually looks nice. I set my destination to land with the morning light and jump. and arrive. I right click the flame, find location oh, and of course it has to be on the other side of the map. I eventually do make it there and this is where I get confused. See all the fallen god armors have a mini quest line that is associated with them. I'm not entirely sure where to find it so I end up combing through suggested recurring new main quests in the tab well since i can't find it maybe i need to untag my bags so i do untag my bags repair them and then i talk to this little shit because i'm out of options who then teleports me away still can't find it until i go back to the old habit when in doubt whip this guy out this turns out to be spot on and what i should have done to begin with so i find and start the quest line tick tock motherfucker It is at this moment 3 minutes before the maintenance sweeps me out of the server that I lay my eyes upon my damn gloves and then I equip them and run away. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.